Good evening and welcome to News 24 English Bulletin. This is Shehreen Wahid and those were the headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina termed the slogan by Rokia Hall girls claiming themselves Rajakar as sad, questioning their knowledge of Pakistani atrocities. Speaking at the annual performance contract ceremony, she stressed the government's commitment to fight corruption regardless of a reputational risk. Hasina also noted global inflation impact affirming efforts to control daily commodity prices. Ministry signed performance agreement for the year, so work plans at the event. Students of Dhaka University protested against the quota reform law clashes with Chhatralik activists around 3 p.m. Brick bats and stones were exchanged, turning the area into a battlefield. Several injuries are reported. This marks the second day of protest with students demanding the withdrawal of the Prime Minister's statement on the freedom fighter quota in government jobs. Our General Secretary Obadul Qadir claimed that the current protests under the guise of quota reform are driven by anti-government forces. He stated that the BNP Jamaat and other opposition parties are involved in the movement. Qadir made these remarks during a press conference at the party president's political office in Dhanmundi this afternoon. Chhatralik President Saddam Hussein condemned quota agitators for overstepping their bounds and warned of consequences for any violences on the highway. He made this statement while standing in front of a motor canton in the afternoon. Although a rally was planned for 3.30 p.m. at Raju Sculpture, the organization's leaders remained at Monho Canteen alerting their original plans. DMP Commissioner Habibur Rahman warned of strict action against those violating laws and order court orders. He made these remarks during a press conference on Monday discussing security for Ashura and the Tazia procession at Husseini Dalan Imambara. Rahman stressed that quota reform issues are under court jurisdiction and must be adhered to. He also assured that comprehensive security measures are in place for the Ashra events. Testimony in the embezzlement case for the Workers and Employees Welfare Fund against Dr. Yunus and 13 others has been postponed. The Dhaka Special Judge Court scheduled August 5 for evidence recording after a defense petition contested the charge framing. The High Court has yet to hear the petition resulting in the adjournment. Charges were initially framed on June 12, directing the commencement of trial proceedings against Dr. Yunus and the co-accused. Police have arrested four members of a gang involved in snatching IME conversion and selling stolen mobile phones. DV Chief Harunur Rashid announced at a press conference that all remaining suspects have been identified and raids are underway for their arrest. Authorities recovered 105 mobile phones and IME conversion machines from the detainees. The owners of 14 recovered phones have been located through GD and the public is urged to file GDs promptly in case of theft or loss. We will be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching News 24 English Bulletin. Two teachers from Tongi Pilot School and Girls College in Ghazipur face accusations of forging their MPO certificates. When investigators attempted to gather information, the accused threatened them with and later fled. The investigation committee formed to address seven allegations of fraud has discovered evidence of irregularities. The principal confirmed that a probe committee has been established to address these issues with a call for a strict punishment for the offenders. The flood situation in the northeastern part of the country is improving as river water levels recede. In Kuregram, while conditions have improved, many low-lying areas remain flooded, causing water shortages for residents. Jamalpur situation has also improved, though the Jomuna River remains 7 cm above the danger mark. In Dangal, water levels in the Jomuna, Jinaida and Dalishwari rivers are receding but still exceeding danger level.
Customs clearing and forwarding CNF agents have initiated a work stoppage demanding the swift withdrawal of a new law affecting goods shipments. They claimed the law could lead to unemployment for around 10,000 workers in the sector. Protests have been ongoing since morning in front of the Customs House at Hazrul Shah Jalla International Airport. The agents argue that the new law will favor courier services for faster delivery of goods up to 30 kg, potentially reducing daily revenue from CNF operations, which currently ranges from 20 to 34 taka. And that's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.